Hey guys and girls, my name is Alan and welcome to today's video. So today is Friday the 6th and it just so happens to be the first day of the open beta for Star Wars Battlefront 2. I can't believe it was like two years ago that I played the first one. Anyway, so I'm about to launch it for the first time and I'm going to walk through the menu as I always do. And then on Acom Vision Gaming, I'm going to be posting some gameplay once I manage to capture some. Uh, and then obviously in due course I'll be showing and thoughts in general on the beta. As I said, I did do a similar sort of thing for the first Battlefront game, so I did a menu walkthrough as I do for most of the betas, and obviously I posted a load of footage to Acorn Vision Gaming as well. And while I didn't get the the final release version because I don't know, it was fun, but it wasn't obligatory decline. But obviously, if I don't accept and I can't play. I mean, I've heard good things so far about the beta. As I said, I haven't had a chance to play it yet. Today's the first day. It's like 15 gig to download, by the way. Nice logo, iconic music. Hi players, this is John Boyega. Thanks for joining the Star Wars Battlefront 2 multiplayer beta. Today, you will experience just a small taste of what the full game will have to offer at launch. But we're excited to get you into the game early. Before we begin, let me give you a rundown of what's in store for you this November. Whether dominating the multiplayer battlefront is Kylo Ren, leading your squadron through thrilling dogfights in space, stepping into the boots of Iden Versio in a new single-player campaign, or mastering your skills in split-screen arcade, this is a Star Wars experience like none other, with greater depth and progression than ever before. Star Wars Battlefront 2 has nearly tripled the number of locations, heroes, and vehicles as its predecessor. It all starts with the Battlefront. Over 14 locations to explore across all three Star Wars eras. In today's beta, you have a chance to explore Naboo, Fondor, Takodan. Star Wars Battlefront 2 introduces class gameplay. Choose from the Assault, Heavy, Specialist, and officer classes, each with unique abilities, weapons, and weapon attachments that give you an edge in battle. But it's not all about the power of the individual. The better you play with your team, the more battle points you'll learn to call in powerful reinforcements, such as clone drum troopers or B2 super battle droids, and a wide range of vehicles, both on the ground and in the air. Battle points are also key to bringing iconic Star Wars heroes into battle. In today's beta, you'll experience four. Darth Maul, Boba Fett, Han Solo, and Rey. You want to fight? Each hero has unique abilities for you to customize and master. Choose the right moment to call in your hero and turn the tide. Give up. And last but not least, we have starfighters. Just like troopers, each starfighter has a class. And just like battle points bring your favorite heroes into battle, they can also bring in your favorite hero ships, including the iconic Millennium Falcon, all with unique handling and upgradable abilities. The star card system has been completely rebuilt. These powerful collectibles exist for everything you can spawn in as, be it a trooper, a vehicle, reinforcement, or hero. In the beta, you'll get a taste of the customization available in the full game, with a small selection of star cards to get you started. You can find them in crates, or craft and upgrade them using parts. The rarer the tier of card, the more powerful its effect in battle. Signatures locked. Choose the right star card for the right situation, and get ready to fight. Star Wars Battlefront 2 contains five different multiplayer modes. In today's beta, you'll get a chance to play three of them. Strike, Strategic, Objective-Based Battles. Starfighter Assault. Intense dogfights across high atmosphere and space. And Galactic Assault. Epic 20 versus 20 all-out warfare. Not ready for multiplayer yet? No problem. Perfect your skills and try out all of your abilities in the arcade mode. Play split-screen co-op. 
verses or solo and earn rewards. Star Wars Battlefront 2 single player campaign debuts an untold story. The Emperor is dead. Helping bridge the events of the return of the Jedi and the Force Awakens. So what happens now? We retaliate, Commander. As Aiden Versio, a Special Forces soldier as equally lethal on the ground as she is in space, you'll fight for the future of the Empire and the galaxy breaking apart. Burn them up! Want to find out more? Prepare to jump into Aiden's story yourself this November. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is a massive world, and today's beta is just a small slice of what you experience in the full game at launch. Until then, make sure you check out what's coming up in the daily calendar. We have a whole host of challenges to keep you entertained, including rewards that you can carry over into the game's launch to get a head start this holiday. Now prepare to dive into the Star Wars Battlefront 2 multiplayer beta. Hmm, interesting. So that's good. Introduction to the beta if you've never played it before. I like that. Not enough games do that, I don't think. Let's just have a look around the menu and see what's going on. So, as I said, I did play the first beta, but I didn't buy the, the, the full retail game. I don't know, I just never got around to getting it. Um, a bunch of different games came out as well, so it's not like I had free time to play it anyway. But, I don't know, who knows, maybe if I enjoy this beta and I like the look of the campaign, then I might pick it up uh, come November. Especially if Call of Duty is let down, uh, but we'll wait and see. Right, so first things first, I'm going to turn down the volume of the music, because it's always ridiculously loud. Uh, great, on or off, those are my options. Copyright strike or no? Hmm. Right, well I'll leave it on for now. Let's see, screen, don't need to mess around with that, controls. Invert, no. I don't know, stuff like this you can only really gauge once you've actually started playing it. I imagine most of it's going to be similar. ADS, shoot, left right ability, scoreboard, emotes, jump. Yeah, it's pretty standard. Uh, oh, hold on. Here we go, we'll turn it crouch using the R3 button it's fine vehicles again I don't know until I play it so we'll see first person I think there was well so there's an option obviously to play first person or third person third person being over the shoulder I think it was in was it Battlefront 1 playing third person uh, was a lot better than playing first person just because you had a mad advantage being able to look further afield and round corners and stuff like that so I might swap that out, uh, but we'll see. Right, got pre-order already. I haven't even played it yet. Three days early. <laughs> so they're tracking a lot of stuff, which is good. Uh, it, I mean, already it seems like there's more content in this game than there was in the first one. I mean, they highlighted that at the start of the trailer, which is it's good. Uh, why can't I? Oh, should I be going into these? Oh, okay. So you pick your loadout, much like you did in the first one. See, I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan, so I don't know what half of this stuff means. Worry about that in a second. Weapons. Okay, change emotes. I can't equip any of these. Oh no, it's a trap. Haha, <laughs> okay. Haha. <laughs> Cheesy. Look, the droids were looking for. Roger, Roger. Uh huh. <laughs> he doesn't like you. 
Okay, I mean, it adds a bit of novelty to the game, but it's nothing. One of them got one option. Isn't that the same as. Ever so slightly different, one and two, but it's whatever. Right, so obviously different classes. Uh, support, okay. Specialist. Okay, so you got sniper, you got medic, you got general assault, and then you got heavy assault. Enforcer. And aerial. Are these all the classes? So you can customize all your vehicles as well. Interceptor. Oh, interesting. Cool. So there's there's aerial vehicles, there's ground vehicles, there's support vehicles, there's specialist classes. I think is that what these are? And then obviously you got the generic classes as well. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so the campaign obviously isn't available yet. There's multiplayer, which is what we're playing the beta for, arcade. Sort of like the offline mode, or well, you, you play with buddies, I guess, uh, against... Uh, what was that other mode called now in Battlefront 1? You had to set times or something. Uh, and it wasn't... I mean, it was a fun distraction, but it wasn't the reason why you jump online to play. Right. Oh, okay. So, an open crate. Let's start off. So, just to end the video then, I'll open this crate, see what we got. Yeah, so don't carry over, obviously, and... Wait. So you got three different types of crates. Interesting. Alright, so this system is a little bit different, obviously, from the first game. Um, it's basically, you buy packs and you get stuff from them. You can improve your gameplay, your characters, loadouts. Ooh, okay. One at a time. Got a heavy weapon, I think. Wait, let's inspect that. Oh, I remember this one. Was oh no, didn't want to do that. Crafting part. Well, oh, that's anticlimactic. A device that creates an electrically charged field in a large area. So a trophy system, basically. That's <laughs> what that is. Alright, cool. So apparently that was a daily one, so maybe I'll get one tomorrow as well. I assume I earn credits for winning battles and stuff. Yeah, these are all the same price, so they're all the base versions. So at zero credits, or whatever the currency is. Zero, I'm guessing that's a premium currency. I'm looking at the top right corner, by the way. And I just earned 20, well, unlocked 20 crafting material, whatever, salvage, whatever you call it. Right, so that'll do it for today's video. As I said, I'll be posting some gameplay to Acorn Vision Gaming. Hopefully I can get some good gameplay, and uh, maybe I'll do another highlights collection for it as well, like I did the first one. And then if I get time, or if I play a lot of the beta, I'll share some early first impressions and you know thoughts on what I think of the beta, and whether or not I decide to get the game, you'll find out come November. In fact, just before I close out this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly check the stuff that I unlocked. Here we go. Also, I don't think I went into that to the characters themselves. Not those, the heroes. Boba Fett. Hmm. Obviously, these are all available after you unlock them. Interesting.
Hmm. Cool, a bit of background knowledge. Um, what do I unlock? Is that literally the only thing I've got to use? Wow, okay. Any couple of weapons to choose from? Officer. Right, so that'll do it for today's video. As I said, I'll be posting some gameplay to Acorn Vision Gaming. Hopefully I'll get some decent matches and if I've spent enough time on the beta, I will of course share an early first impressions of my time on the beta. And who knows, if I get enough clips, maybe I'll do like a mini highlights collection like I did last time. Uh, but yeah, until next time, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, take care and I'll see you later.